Hi, this is Dan Amaze, and this is a video response to Mobile Phone 2003's What Software Do You Use? Uh, so we'll get straight into it. Uh, if we go down to my dock here, we've got Firefox. To me, it's the best browser out there. I've used it for a long time now. It's been around for uh, about five years, I believe. Um, I know a lot of Google Chrome users will beg to differ and say that Chrome is better, but um, nothing will make me change my mind about Firefox. Uh, to me, it's the best browser out there. Uh, Gmail. This just links. Yeah, it's just like a, a internet shortcut. Basically, it just links up to the web application or web client, whatever you want to call it. If we go into Connect, I've got um, uTorrent. So uh, I use this mainly for downloading um, operating systems. Uh, a lot of operating systems distribute over torrents, so I use it for that mainly. Um, I've also got Bitchy here. Um, which searches for torrents. Sometimes um, it, it, I can download things easier uh, using torrents, um, especially if I've got a slow connection or, a bit, or I've been capped for the day or something like that. So I can find yeah, those bigger files and games and things like that and just download them from uTorrent. Right, uh, FileZilla is an FTP client. Um, I haven't found anything out there that's any better. Uh, I use that for uh, swapping files over. Uh, into like other websites and things like that. Uh, Google Chrome, uh, I use it as some kind of a secondary browser. Um, it's nice to see a different perspective. It also links with Internet Explorer. Sometimes I use that just to see a different perspective on a certain website or something that I'm working on. Windows Live Cool, um, I've mainly got that there as a backup in case something happens with Skype. Uh, I think Live Cool is quite rubbish actually. The quality is really bad. Um, uses a hell of a lot of bandwidth for not a lot of quality so um, it takes me on to Skype which I use um, to call friends and family and also to uh, team up with people to do podcasts and things like that excellent excellent quality amazing quality uh, TeamSpeak I use this to communicate with some people that I work with online um, and it's just a nice easy way to communicate um, without writing things which brings me on to Windows Live Messenger which is uh, to me the best IM client. I've tried Pigeon and Miranda and all those others and I always go back to this. I've used it for years, it's been around for years um, and again uh, any of the, those people that comment and say you should use Pigeon and it's like well I've used it, I didn't like it that much, I've always gone back to this so that's why I use it. Okay so image. I use Easy Capture for screenshots. Um, it's a really cool piece of freeware um, I can basically take a screenshot of any window or region that I want to um, and add annotations and also add like things like uh, red rings around things that I want to make a point of. Earth and view because it's a very very good p uh, image viewer and it loads in seconds and um, it's just simple lightweight and does the job for me. Uh, Lunapic is an online service, I've just got it running through Prism. Um, you can basically just edit and add an animations to your photos and things like that. Paint because it comes in handy sometimes, and Paint.net. Now I used to use GIMP a lot, um, but I'm not really into graphics, and GIMP was a bit overkill for me, so I've gone to Paint.net, which is kind of a more chilled out version of GIMP, I'd say. Okay, media. I use BB Flashback Pro for my screencasts. Um, now this is a commercial piece of software. You can get a free version called BB Flashback Express, I believe, which is on their website, um, and Cam Studio. Um, is what I used to use. Now I will still use it sometimes for up close stuff or um, you know, if it's something that I particularly want to use Cam Studio for but I'm mainly using BB Flashback now. Um, Cubase SX is a commercial piece of music software, music editor, recorder, uh, basically a studio in your computer. Um, quite expensive. I'm a musician so that's why I've got it and um, I use it quite often. Dizzler is running through Prism, that's like a web application, uh, a kind of alternative to Spotify, uh, which I've already made a video on actually. Um, sometimes if I can't find something on Spotify, I will go up to Dizzler and see if it's up on there. DVD Shrink to back up DVDs, it's been around for ages and um, it works, it's really good. Infra Recorder, now I used to use CD, uh, CD Burner XP until I had just one little quirky issue with it, so I changed to Infra Recorder, I've had no problem since, so it's one of my my favourite burners. Media Coder is what I used to, um, or what I used to use to code my YouTube videos, um, and 
um, take them down to smaller sizes and things like that. I also use it a lot for WAV to MP3 conversion. Microsoft LifeCam, um, I have a LifeCam but I don't use the software. Uh, same with QuickTime, it's just there really. Um, I never really use it. Uh, Sibelius 5, now this is uh, another musician kind of piece of software. It's commercial, it costs loads and loads of money. Um, but I use it because I need to use it for uh, my work and, and things like that. And basically it's turn to notate music. Uh, so anytime you see like musical notations, if you see like music books and things like that and piano books, it's all done on Sibelius 5. It's a professional grade piece of software. Songbird, uh, because they're really doing good things over at Mozilla, um, I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with this. So uh, that's why I've got it installed and um, you know I keep going in from time to time and checking for updates and seeing what they're doing. Soundforge, which is another piece of um, commercial audio software, I use this um, sometimes as an alternative for Cubase if I want to just do a small job. Spotify, um, probably one of the best things that's come out in the last five years I would say. Uh, brilliant music service. Uh, streams, you can get premium accounts which I haven't got in the moment but I'm thinking about doing it. Um, but it just streams over the net and loads and loads of content on there. VLC Media Player, uh, great media player. Um, I don't use anything different so I'll never change probably. And Windows Movie Maker which I use occasionally for little video um, projects and slideshows, things like that. Okay, Office. I use op Open Office as my Office Suite. Um, it's free, it's actually better than uh, Microsoft Office I think so that's why I use it. Reminds me of uh, 2003 actually, Microsoft Office 2003. Foxit Reader is a great free um, light PDF reader and also Windows Live Writer which I use to um, blog and basically send posts up to Donksweb and things like that. Okay last but not least utilities. Uh, I use 7-zip um, to me, there's there's no other apart from WinRAR, which is paid. Uh, there's no other um, good zip um, extractor out there. Oslogic's disk defrag. Uh, it's just a disk disk defragger, which is um, really really good and efficient and fast. Calculator, because sometimes I need to add stuff up. Computer management, because I just like to have that there rather than searching for it all the time. File menu tools, which is gives a a kind of a advanced context menu to your right click. Magic Disk to mount ISOs. Notepad because I use it occasionally for coding and things like that. Paragon Partition Manager which is a commercial piece of software to manage your partitions. And uh, VirtualBox which I use um, as my virtual machine um, which basically uh, yeah, you can run things um, and try OS's out and things like that without actually installing them on your system. And WhatPulse which uh, just tracks keys and clicks. Uh, it's just a little thing that I'm doing at the moment. So here you guys, most of my software, I'll just quickly go up here. We've got CCleaner, Revo and SweepRAM. I use those in my uh, quick launch. Uh, that's Oslogix Distifract which I've already talked about. Um, CCleaner is a junk cleaner and fixes your registry. Revo is an advanced uninstaller and SweepRAM is just a RAM optimization tool. So there you go, that's pretty much everything. I um, also use Avast as well uh, as my um, antivirus please don't tell me to use something else because I'm not going to so there you go that's pretty much all of my software so thanks for watching this has been a video response for uh, mobile phone 2003's software and uh, please rank comment and subscribe and thanks and see you later